In Module 5, we'll be working with creating construction documents as well as performing some pre-construction analyses with quantities and volumes. In this exercise, we're going to create two corridor surfaces so that we can start comparing our volumes. You may remember doing this from an earlier exercise. We're going to select the Create Surface button. And the first surface that we'll create will be our corridor top surface. Now this surface is always going to be created mainly for visualization purposes, uh, a little more than for calculating quantities. I'm going to give this a style of our one and five foot contour design. And I'm going to add the code top uh, as a link to this surface. Now when creating a surface from a corridor, especially for quantity calculations, you want to make sure that you set overhang corrections. And what this does is in the event that a subassembly overhangs another one or underhangs another one, the code will be followed directly throughout. A good example of this is the, uh, the curb that we use with a subbase up under it. If you put a subbase extension in, then it will have a little problem there and tie into the wrong spot. The second surface is going to be our rural road datum. And just like with the top, we're going to select our datum code and add that link to our surface. Only with this one, we're going to set our overhang correction to bottom links. We want this datum surface to carefully trace the bottom of our assembly all the way across. Now the datum surface that we're creating is going to be used to calculate against our existing ground for quantity calculations. When we're just dealing with dirt, we don't necessarily want to uh, add in our pavement and our base and things such as that. Now I'm going to add boundaries to this as well. Uh, I can add these boundaries by codes. Uh, as long as I have a closed code, I can add it. But I'm just going to add the corridor extents as a boundary. And that's going to reach out to the daylight lines. And it's going to wrap around the entire surface and create some accurate surfaces from our corridor. If we take a look now, we can see in our in tool space under surfaces, we have our two new ones, our road datum and our road top. 